lightly. If you're doing the right thing and you're embedding sustainability into the way you operate as a business, then the disclosures will just come out the other end. I'm Simon Weaver, partner based in the UK, but globally head up our ESG advisory business. I think a, a big driver for clients at the moment from an ESG perspective has been around the regulations. To be able to deliver on that reporting, they need to upgrade all of their technology to collate the new data that's required, but also from a strategic perspective. So technology and data is absolutely at the heart of everything we're talking to our clients around from a sustainability perspective. If you get the data and systems component right, that's really the catalyst for making those correct, but often challenging strategic decisions around sustainability and financial outcomes, as well as the technology and data aspects of, of the transformation. A really important part is around the culture aspect. For many years, this was seen as CSR or corporate social responsibility, and as something separate to an organization's strategy. Whereas now everybody sees that from a societal perspective, from a geopolitical perspective, this is at the heart of a lot of the challenges that we're going to face into. One of the clients we're working at is doing a huge digitalization transformation across their operations. And what we're doing is embedding sustainability into every work stream. A great example is in the finance transformation. When they first came to it, they were looking at how do we upgrade our, our financial systems? And, and we came to them and said, well, actually, there's, there's a sustainability angle to this as well. Um, in terms of the data you need to collect, one of the partners that I work with put it a great way in saying, you know, while we're digging up the road to relay the finance pipes, let's make sure that we're relaying the sustainability pipes at the same time. We're spending a lot of time educating and training and having discussions at the board level. The leadership level are often looking at even at just a 12 month window of, of getting financial returns. Whereas some of the sustainability considerations are absolutely things that will create a return, but maybe in the future, maybe in a three to 10 year horizon. What we're now trying to do is use artificial intelligence to look at how can we create sustainability training programs that are really focused on individual role profiles and embed sustainability into what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and really change the way that the inner workings of an organization are, are functioning.